Company. We need air support. ASAP. I repeat, air support. ASAP. Bravo Company. Find it.
perimeter? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Turn in. from? What outfit are you guys with? What unit? Hey, we got a pacification program in process here, so without the proper ID, you cannot enter Lock Bin. So just turn the truck around and get your ass out of here. Hey, Rodriguez, show the lieutenant here and his men a sample of our kind of pacification program. See you in heaven. is that? guys
kidding me? Yeah, I am. I'm buying the pizza. Come on, we're going to be late for the briefing. Sergeant Maddox to you, Corporal. Right, right, right. Screw you, Sergeant Maddox. One of these days, somebody's gonna have to teach your boy or Billy the fucking kids some manners. Ain't gonna be me. So who's it gonna be? Don't push your luck, candy ass. Hey, easy, Chuck. Come on, come on, easy. Do I detect some tension in the air? No, sir. None here? Okay, okay. Let's cut out the crap. Get down to business. Intelligence informs us there's to be a meeting between North Vietnamese officer, a certain Colonel Trang, and a top VC controller tomorrow at Sector 6. Here, above the Pleiku mountain range. Trang is coming in by train carrying instructions for a strategic strike on Hamlets in Sector 6. Men, we want that train hit and train terminated with extreme prejudice. Captain Carter will give you the details. All right, gentlemen, let's gather around. I'll be flying you up to your target areas, where one, Sergeant Maddox and the Condor team will take up positions near the railroad tracks here at point A. Two, Sergeant Stratton and the Eagle team take a little farther on up the tracks here point B three Eagle team boards a passing train takes out train by the time the train passes point A where Condor team boards the engine takes out the engineer four as Eagle team moves forward Condor team leaves, leaves down cover fire prepares to disconnect the engine when the Eagle arrives five You'll take the train, stop it on the bridge over the river of Wai Taekwon, and I'll be there to pick you all up. Any questions? All right. We we'll leave at 2100 hours. See you all then. Good luck. Gentlemen, meet Colonel Trang, your target. Trang's gonna be in, so I want both of you to take one last look at our target. Now, if he's in the cab assigned to you, make damn sure you get him. All right, let's get ready.
What the hell was with you leaving us behind? Plan was to pick you up at the bridge when the train stopped. The train never stopped. The captain has his point. That was the plan. So what the hell happened to Condor? The BC patrol got in his way. He had to abort. But you guys did one hell of a good job. And I'll see that you get proper recommendation. You can keep the medals. Go clean up your computers. guys made it back. Well, thanks to you, buddy. Can it, John? Come on over. Join the boys. Beer's on me. and the lives of my men in jeopardy. You had orders and you failed to carry them out. We were taking flak from an exposed position. What the hell could we do? We took cover. Just like the last time. You guys don't much like being in a fire zone, do you? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Eat your chicken shit! Come on, Johnny. We'll take our drinks over there. There is bad over here. That's because of you, you stinking little gook. sleep, I trust. Uh, since you pissed the colonel off a little bit last night, it's going on your records. We were just blowing off at his steam, Captain. Sergeant Maddox isn't to blame, and I'll take full responsibility on this. Yeah. But just try to contain yourself from now on. We're not here to fight each other. Pothead. That really is a lost command. Does the military know about them? The military not sure. Well, we got proof now. This man. Bad. Come on, Miss Chris. We go now. Wait, Pot, wait. I need to get closer. I need a little bit more detail. Come on.
today. Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Let's hey. take a hike. Theo's gonna love this. White broad taking pictures of the camp. She was with some little Montagnac. We were bringing them in, but they got away. Well, she's not going to get away. We'll get the bitch and a camera. Now let's go. Get going. All right. Let's go, Jimmy Fox. Let's go get the truck. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Hey.
Vietcong, you mean. Let's go, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go. 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 Let
clear the area. Pull it with me. Predator! You guys check those fucking hooches! Predator! The last command is not a myth, Colonel. I was there. If you've got proof, let's see it. I had the whole thing. The whole thing! And then it got wasted. It was the VC who attacked that village. Bullshit! They were GI issue right down to their fucking M16s. I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm quite sure you're a fine reporter. But I assure you, there is no story here. Well, maybe it's just one you don't want to admit to. You know, I can always go back and get more pictures. Miss Chandler, Miss Chandler, your safety here is my personal responsibility. And quite frankly, your presence in my area of command is a pain in the ass. Captain. Be sure that Miss Chandler is confined to the base until the next dispatch chopper leaves for Saigon. The general's going to hear about this. I'm sure he will. Johnny. How's he doing? Well, the doc says he's going to be out of action for a while. Well, that he's going to pull through. Thank God. I'm an MS ship as it is. I'm sorry. I feel like it's all my fault. I... Don't be ridiculous. These things happen. It's all in line of duty, Miss Chandler. Chris. Rick. Chris. You been to see the Colonel yet, ma'am? Nope. I'm just on my way. You know, we've all heard stories about your so-called lost command. So-called? Well, you gotta admit, this whole thing seems a little bit far-fetched. Well, uh... Ain't that right, Sarge? Yeah, that's right, Johnny. But then again, this whole damn war seems a bit far-fetched. Does it that? Anybody ever tell you that I'm the general around here, man? <laughs> Without me, you're nothing. You are the lost command. She was a fucking reporter. She went into the goddamn village, you asshole. You know she's a reporter. She's got cameras. She's got film. I didn't know she was going to go in the village, but I went in there to get the goddamn camera. 
You got that? Vehicles, three kill zones. Block here, block here. Payroll's in the middle. Payroll means payday. And payday means pussy. Yeah. Another couple of weeks, so I'll do it. You heal fast, Sergeant. That's okay, enough to suit me. Don't push it. You're doing fine. But no strenuous activity for a while, understand? Okay. Give nature time to take its course. Thanks, Doc. I'll check in on you in a couple of days. How about a second opinion? Hi, Chris. Hi. What do I owe this pleasure? I gotta talk to you. Fire away. Remember, Sergeant, nothing strenuous. I've been here a week. Three dispatch helicopters for Saigon and Pentagon. Carter's keeping me grounded here, and I know they don't know why. He's afraid someone in command just might believe him. I believe you, Chris. You believe me about the last command? Well, I wasn't sure until I wanted to pull you out of that village. Did you see him? No, only Ratner. Who? Sergeant B.O. Ratner. He used to be a part of my squad. What? I don't understand. It's a long story. surrounded. Give up before somebody gets hurt. Come on up, we'll talk about it. All right, I'm coming in. Leave your weapon in the Jeep. About 18 months ago in Da Nang, a bunch of black marketeers were cornered by the MPs in a warehouse. Turned out Ratner was the head of that syndicate. I arrived just as he suckered the commanding officer into the warehouse. Ratner took him hostage. The officer was my brother, Mike. All right, you assholes! I got your goddamn CO! I'm gonna blow his fucking head off unless you stop playing soldier and leave us alone. Now back off! Ratner, this is Rick. You guys are outnumbered and outgunned, so don't make things worse for yourself. Stay out of it, Stratton! It ain't none of your damn business! B.O., we can help you out of this. You wanna help? Just stay the fuck out of it! Otherwise, I'm gonna waste your smart mouth brother here! Bring me back his balls, Johnny.
I looked everywhere for the bastard, but he just seemed to have disappeared. I thought that was the last time I'd ever run into him. Figure the gang disbanded and hit out in Laos or something. But I told myself I wouldn't give up until Ratner was either dead or behind bars. Now I think it might have been the birth of the Lost Command. Now you're talking. Chris, how many men did you see in that camp? God, I couldn't be sure, but I'd say at least 30. That would account for quite a few AWOLs and MIAs. How come you haven't told Slark yet? He wouldn't make a move without proof. What about you? A couple more days, I'll be ready. I can take you to their camp. Not on your life. You can tell me how to get there, though. But when I go, if I go, I go with the Eagle team and no one else. Is that understood? Ah, uh, something tells me this is going to be a long day, man. Divisional payroll's going out at 0800 hours. It's a big one, man. It contains all the uh, departmental payments to all those hill tribes. We're going to ride shotgun up as far as Mac Low. Sarge is still laid back, man. That fucking Maddox is in charge. Shit. I had the day pass hoping to see my wife and kid. Hey, Ransom. Get your ass in here. You're coming with me. Don't worry, man, all right? We'll be back before you know it.
You must be slipping there, Johnny boy. Yo. Decided to pay us a little visit, huh? Well, we got a lot of catching up to do. Let's move out. That's the end of this conversation, Davis, so let me be. Come on, Carter, you can't leave the issue hanging like that. All I want is a simple yes or no. Watch my lips. No, there is no goddamn lost command. Why can't you accept the fact that many of the men listed as AWOL have banded together to form bushwhacking armies? You know, it's not Charlie who's the enemy out there. It's war correspondents like you and dinky down politicians who are fucking up our lives. If there are disgruntled boys out there, and remember I said if, and I sympathize with those mothers. How the hell do you think some boy feels sitting out in the bush, spilling his guts, knowing there's no goddamn rhyme or reason for the firefight he's just been in because we're not supposed to win this here war? Can I quote you on that? Word for word. Now get the hell out of here. Brady's lost too much blood. Why in the hell wasn't he giving blood to Mac Lowe? There was no reason to bring him back to base. It's not through communication. Just a little bit of confusion because of the ambush over at Mac Lowe. Willie, can you hear me? Who hit the payroll convoy? <gasps> Devin. <gasps> what Devin? What man? What 
Dub. <gasps> Miss Chris is right. All the time. <gasps> Miss Chris is right. <gasps> Oh, shit. He was incoherent and, and incomprehensible. And I'm denying you permission. You're in no condition to return to the field yet, Sergeant. Now, I suggest you return to your billet and remain there until the medical officer gives me a report that clears you for active duty. So, together again. <laughs> Just like old times, huh, Johnny boy? You and me and Stratton. Nobody fucked with that Eagle team, did they? We were real tough, weren't we? Well, the Eagle has crash landed. Never to fly again, Johnny boy. Tell me, Bill. What the fuck do you want? What do I want? What do I want? I think I've been overcome by a powerful case of nostalgia. Yep. Yeah, yeah. now what I want is to go back down memory lane. Go back to when you assholes were sticking your nose in our Warehouse operation? That's where I'd like to go back to. It was you guys that made me do that. It was your fault that that dumb shit brother of Stratton's got killed that day. You just should have stayed out of it. Boy, it's rotten. And it stinks. Yeah, and there's something else I forgot to tell you. I'm real sorry, but I had to uh, waste that hero, Rick. Just the other day, I had to blow him away. Real sorry about that. That's war, ain't it, kid? I hate to disappoint you, B.O., but he didn't die, man. Well, I guess that changes things a bit. You might just get yourself a couple extra days out of this, Johnny boy. Relax, lay back, get yourself a suntan. I'll talk to you a little later. Damn it, Chris, what the hell are you doing? 
I'm a war correspondent, for Christ's sake. I get paid to do this shit. I had to throw you out of this gym right now. I'm the only one that knows where their camp is, Rick. This is my second tour of duty in these parts. I know my way around. Yeah, but well, there isn't time for that, is there? Chris, do you have any idea what these guys will do to you if you're captured? I have no intention of being captured. I'm gonna go in there, get my photos, and get the fuck out. I'll leave the heroics to you. Come on, Rick, this is the biggest story I got going. I'll stay out of your way, I promise. Come on, big guy. Please. Well, if you're gonna navigate, you might as well get up front. We got intelligence reports that there's a gang of misfits out there. She's probably gone after them. If she breaks the story, all holy hell's gonna break out in Washington. And that's just the sort of publicity you all don't need. To hell with that. If they're out there, I want their hides. Briefing in 30 minutes. From that ridge over there, you can see down into their camp. Let's go. As you can see, A Company from the 101st Armored Division is already on the move. I'm putting you in full command of the assault. You'll be directing fire from the gunship. I'm counting on you to do a good job, Captain. Good luck, Captain. Get going.
You don't have much time. They're coming for you. Who the fuck's they? Game's up. Your camp's been pinpointed. Command's called in a strike. You got about 30 minutes before you and the scumbags are blown off this map. So I suggest you and the boys start humping it if you want to save your ass. And the loot. For a good share, no doubt. That was the deal, if you all remember. Yeah. Whatever you say, Captain. Whatever you say. What the hell's going on? I know, but they're up to something up for damn sure. I'm going down. Now you stay put. This could get messy. Thank you, Sergeant. That'll be all. Oh, shit. I thought we had a deal. Uh, I guess not. Drop it, Captain, or I'll cut you in two. <laughs> Better listen to him, Captain. Old Weasel's got this thing about officers. He wants to kill every fucking one of them. <laughs>
on, you're gonna be okay? Let's see who jumps now. Go for your gun, buddy. Almost over, Stratton. You're just about ready to join your brother. Decided to play a little game with me, huh, Stratton? <laughs> looks like you win, B.O. Sure looks that way, don't it? What happened to you, man? We used to be friends. I only need one friend out here. Yeah, firing up that some friend, huh? Well, that's all I need. I like it. Yeah, well, it's turned you into a fucking animal. Well, you gotta be an animal to survive in this pit. Yeah, well, right now it's just you and me in this pit. You seen the sergeant? Let's go home, Johnny. You okay? Yeah. What a waste this has been. Yeah, and you got two more years of this shit. Thanks for cheering me up, guy. Yeah, come on, man. I'll buy you a beer. 